Hey, um, my name is Vampire Spooky Love on YouTube. Um, my real name is Casey, you know, in real life. One thing that's been bugging me lately is the way that I'm afraid to combine my art and my online presence with who I really am, the difficult aspect of me being able to form a cohesive person that is just specifically me, that I shouldn't be afraid of having an art page or a public image or just simply being a woman in the art world. I've been studying a lot about women in the visual arts and how it affects every era and generation, especially now. And it got me thinking about some of the reasons why I'm afraid of merging my artistic personality and who I am and why I you know, slowly stop either posting videos, I never post my artwork online, why I'm afraid of backlash and all of that. Um, so it got me questioning about why am I afraid to be a, a woman? I personally identify as being a woman. I was born a female. Um, genetically, I guess. Um, I know, even right now, I struggle with the way I look due to society. Um, I struggle with my weight, my appearance, my body type, my height. Um, I mean, body modifications, tattoos, the way I conduct myself in public around certain people, the way I act around authority, the way I act around friends, the way I act around family. To me, it's all kind of different from place to place. Like, I kind of wear a mask if I'm with friends. Um, I act a little different than I do with family, which is different from how I act when I'm in society. Um, different from the way I act when I'm online or I have an online presence. And I think one of the reasons why it's so hard for me to connect all of these together is because of the oppression that I've had as just being a woman. I even have a difficulty saying that I'm a woman because I feel like I'm a girl in society's eyes. Even though I'm 22, I feel like I'm still suppressed to be this lesser or under than most people. Um, even though my outward appearance shows that I'm an expressionist person, Inside, I'm terrified to express that. I'm afraid of, you know, backlash, critics, all of that. I get afraid of showing that I have womanly features. I'm afraid of wearing dresses, even though I own a huge collection of Skirts, dresses, short tops, heels. I never wear heels out. I never wear dresses out. They literally just sit in my closet because I'm afraid of showing my womanly assets. <laughs> I'm okay with wearing a tank top, but I'm not okay with showing my legs or showing, you know, that I can gain height by wearing heels. I have very rarely worn dresses only if it was acceptable, such as prom or a funeral, um, 
weddings. I've never been to a wedding, but there's just certain aspects that I am afraid of. Even right now, um, I personally made this vest. Well, customized it at least. And I've never worn it out in public because it shows the bottom half of my stomach and the fact that I have artwork on the back that I created myself. Um, I very rarely even show people my works in progress or anything like that. And so it got me thinking of how does this idea of me being afraid to be a woman aspect the way I show my artwork. Because most of it's very personal. Like, I'm an expressionist painter, sculptor, what have you, filmmaker, and I don't even publish anything. Because I'm afraid of the backlash. Which I think is a little bit different if I were a male. Because Throughout history, most women have never been represented in museums or art, art books or textbooks or history books. And the more and more I'm learning about it, the more I realize how oppressed we are. And I'm trying to think of ways that I can express myself through my artwork to show the views of a woman <laughs> who is alternative and kind of out there, I guess, if you want to say, who, even though is alternative, still has this crutch of being a woman who is afraid of, you know, her own body. And I think I might start actually posting some of my artwork, which will be interesting for me. It's probably a really big step. But, I think I need to start doing that to move past this. So, I guess I will post some information about my artwork, what I do, why I do it, how I feel about it after I've posted it, to see if my thoughts about me personally as an artist change. You know, we'll see. <laughs> I guess I just need to get that empowerment. And yeah, stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> Not I guess, I know. Um, I will post this video diary of my self-exploration of being a woman and being an artist. And this is going to be my first video diary of it, and I hope I have the nerve to keep going. I will be posting every Friday about my artistic adventures of the week and how I've been growing as an artist. and publicly posting them on my YouTube channel. Stay tuned, and I hope maybe more people will join me in this video diary journal of being a woman and being an artist. <laughs>